Hey, this is Chris with APS, and I want to take a moment to go over what's included in our complete fluid and package kit. Some of you may be aware of the parts that are included in that, but we took some time to put this kit together so that you guys wouldn't have to go looking for any extra parts to make sure that once this is bolted up to your power frame, you're ready to go. So let's take a look at some of the stuff we got here on the table. Let's move that. So first off, we got the manifold. Um, it's a 20K manifold here. And we've got eight of the big bolts that come with that. This will bolt this to your power frame. Now, something to notice here on the big Allen wrench that comes with that, that fits these bolts, okay? The other side, oh, let me put that back in there. The other side of this, the side that's been machined down, that also fits into your gland nut. So this is how you're gonna tighten your gland nuts up. All right, so first off, we got the manifold, and then we got the manifold bolts, and we've got the Allen wrench that comes with that. Next on the list is you get three 20K uh, valves, okay? Those insert in there, you guys know how the valves work. After that, you got three stuffing boxes, 20K stuffing boxes, so of course everything on here is 20K. Then you guys get two complete uh, packing kit sets. So you get, uh, so it's gonna have six total, you're gonna have six sleeves and then six packing ring uh, sets. Okay, once that's listed out, you guys are gonna get three gl gland nuts. These come with the O-rings, I just don't have them on right now because we like to ship them with the O-rings off so they're not stretched out. Okay, after that, you guys are gonna get three plungers. These are Colmanoy plungers, 20K. These happen to be, what size is this? Number 10s, okay? Once you guys uh, get that, the next thing you're going to have is the plunger coupling. And the way that this works, I don't have a pony rod with me right now, but I can kind of show you with two plungers. If you guys aren't familiar with this, these are the clamp style. So let's say this is the pony rod. This is the part that's inside that's connected into the pump. You're going to connect these. One second, I'm going to try to hold this at the same time. Did I do this? One second, I got to set one end down here, guys. Now let me loosen this up just a bit. Bear with me for a second. Now on the pony rod, there should be a little boss that sticks off here that inserts into this hole right here to help line that up. Let's see here. There we go. And then once those two parts get in there and the clamp gets tightened down, then you'll have a situation like this where now your plunger is attached to your pony rod. So that's gonna be moving back and forth inside the stuffing box through the gland nuts, through the packing, okay? So there you go, you guys see how that works. All right, pull these out. All right, that's pretty much the main parts that go with that. We also have the lube harness. Now I'm not gonna be able to turn this in because this is gonna end up hitting the table. But you guys over here, I'll do it on this side. You kind of get the point here. This would go in thread in right here. And then you're gonna have the, the three black hoses that run through these. These are your quick connect for the air connectors. That would then run over to We'll just take one of these off here. So if you had your stuffing box set up <clears throat> inside the pump, it's going to look something like this. You're going to have this hose connected in there. It's going to come over to this stuffing box where you have these connectors, some 90s. These are eighth inch MPTs, I believe. These have a little adjustment on the top. And then, of course, your hose is just going to push in and connect right there. So those would connect from there to there, okay? You guys understand how that works. Let me pull these out. So of course you get three of these. You got three on the lube harness there. Once we get rid of that stuff, oh, I forgot to mention the deflector pads. So the deflector pads, you're gonna get three of those. Once we get rid of that stuff, we get into the things that go on top <clears throat> excuse me, or the bottom of your manifold. So the first thing up is going to be the trunnion rod. So I'm not going to flip this thing over because you, you guys will understand how this works. But once this is bolted up to your power frame, you're going to connect your trunnion rod to the, to the um, uh, what would you call it? The 
the little wings that are going to be hanging on to your power frame and then this bar goes through there this is what allows you to unbolt your manifold and swing it down out of the way to do your replacements for your stuffing boxes okay so you get a trunnion rod two of these and a couple little cotter pins to go with that okay next we are going to look at the PRV valve so let's go ahead and we'll show how that goes in so the PRV but you got three ports on here medium pressure ports on top <clears throat> It really just depends on how you want to mount this thing. But I'm going to let's see if I can get this fit in there. Okay, so let's say that's mounted on there like that. You're going to get two of the um, rupture disc holders along with you're going to pick your choice of rupture disc at whatever pressure you guys want. So the way that we would typically insert these is you'd probably have one coming out of your PRV valve. And you'd probably have one coming out of this port. Okay. Next up, you're going to have a 20K gauge. But in order to make that work with your manifold, you've got a couple of little adapters here. So you've got a medium pressure adapter. That's going to screw into this other medium pressure port on the top of the manifold. Then you've got a gland nut and collar, okay? So before we put this in here, looks like I'm getting text messages from somebody. Before we put this in here, this is a left-handed thread on the collar here. So we're gonna screw that in. Then we're gonna screw, screw in the gland nut. If I can get it to go in. Well, shoot. Sorry, I'm doing this backwards, guys. Just bear with me if I can remember how to do anything. Okay, this goes on first, then this screws on. Remember, it's a left-handed thread. Then that's going to slide in, and you're going to tighten this down. There you go. This would be the traditional way that you would most likely set up your manifold. And we've got a couple plugs here, so let's not forget those. You're going to have a plug that goes into the top of your PRV. And you're going to have a plug that you guys are going to put on either side. However you guys set this up, we'll just put it on this side for right now so you can kind of see where this is going. And that pretty much squares away everything that we have for the 20K complete fluid end assembly. If you guys got any questions on this, feel free to give us a call at 1-877-290-4277 or you can email our sales team at sales-team at advancedpressuresystems.com. They'll be happy to answer any other questions you guys have. Other than that, that's all I got for you right now. I hope to see you guys later and thanks for checking out advancedpressuresystems.com.